I'm finally free from the shackles of school and I'm ready to take on my gap year. During this gap year, I really want to do my best to come into my own as an artist and explore my creativity in a way that I haven't been able to before because of school generally and the way my previous art course restricted me in some ways. So armed with a new sketchbook and some really cool new stickers that was were given to me, the ramen one is my favorite. Not gonna lie. I really feel like I'm gonna be able to tackle the goals that I have and chip away at improving myself to be where I wanna be. So this is the first page in the new sketchbook. I'm not gonna do a drawing because the page is kind of, it's kind of messed up. I might do a little one. I might do a little one in the corner, but I'm gonna start on this page. But on this page, we're gonna write out the goals. The key things in this sketchbook I want to tackle is getting better at hands, getting better at anatomy in general, that's a real problem area for me, and trying to my best to create scenes, creative scenes, because that's something that I really enjoy doing. And this is my learning section. This will be like the learning area. And I think we'll go part way down. Another general thing that I want to try and achieve is creating a concept maybe once a week maybe more maybe less i'm gonna see how the creative flow goes because if i force myself to make something that's gonna stunt the creativity and that's not what we want other things i want to work on is creating a personal style that's something that's really important to me and then also trying to do copies of other artists as often as i can I'm also going to keep a list of artists that really inspire me, so if I'm ever feeling a lack of creativity, I can just go back to this list or I can add to it later. Right, I've got the list of artists. This I will keep adding to, because I know I have forgotten some. But I really like these people. If you don't know who these people are, go check them out, because they're very funky, they're very cool. So, we're going to test out this paper. I'm going to do something on this page. I'm gonna look for a reference and then we'll get going. I hate looking for references and yes, I could take my own references, but I really wasn't in the mood to go through that trouble. So the one that I did end up using, I took a lot of creative liberty with and I will link it down in the description. Let's make, let's make a friend. She'll be at the big tall windowsill. She'll have like plant pots and stuff. I'll add those in afterwards, I think plants coming down. I've only got like her head. So um I'm just gonna and she's got like her hand like that. This placement is wrong. happens when you don't get a reference photo that you like. I don't know where her other arm is. It's probably like coming down there. Oh my word. We're gonna persevere until we like it. You probably don't see the vision as I am very much I'm very much winging it. Um but I've brought the arm this way. That's not how arms work, but this is a concept, so we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about it too much. Her eblo is like that. Her fingers like that. And if we bring her shoulder around. what she's leaning on anymore but she's leaning on something and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this arm this arm I don't know let's move on to the hair I reckon her her hairline in the reference is like that with like whooshy bits to the side And then her hair, like, goes up here. So I reckon we go 
away from the reference. And we make voluptuous curls. Yeah, like that. We'll go with that. And then, oh, I hate this bit. We'll just... Just got like a little, little, little butt chin going on. Got a little eye apex. Her, I've, I've accidentally made her eyes really far apart. I'm not sure how I've achieved this to this degree. She's leaning out of a window that has a really big ledge, right? That's what we're going with. That's 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 the vibe. It's the window with a really big ledge, and there's a beam here. That's a beam. There's also a beam here. Oh, she'll have one of those um, pulley uppy windows. So it'll be, we'll put, we'll put it there. The base of it there with its like little, I don't know how they work. Let's just, let's just put the hook like that. And then have the upper bit where the two meet. And then just, have that be like that to imply we're implying glass we've implied glass let's say this window is to her bedroom door over here her door is closed her door is all handles also over here and then say so she's got like clothes on the bed I don't know, something like that. Just clothes. She's just, she's just a messy gal. She could be smoking a cigarette. Because then that can draw the eye upwards on this windowsill. She'll put her arm down so her ashtray will be over here. This is just her little, her little ashtray. Put a little couple spilling out over there. I, don't, I still don't know what to do with this arm. Don't know what to do with that arm. But then we could have maybe like down. No, her, that's too, like, too long. That, we're just gonna leave that alone still. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready to tackle that yet. We'll have, like, a little, a little bookshelf. A little, like, uh, what do they call Like, string of pearls or something? Dangling off. That's our scene. This is our scene. This is what we're gonna go with. I haven't figured out this arm, but that's fine. A while ago, I mixed together this weird color of ink because it came as like a neon pink. So I mixed together some red and it came out as this really weird, um, like this, this color. I don't know what this color is. I also did not consider is how much water this paper can actually hold. So we're gonna we're gonna see. What is the 115 GSM? It's my watercolor paper. Hold on. My watercolor paper is almost double that. In fact, it's more than double. So this will not take water very well, I don't think. But this is ink. It'll be fine. Maybe. The painting process for this concept is the epitome of winging it. I didn't have 
an idea in mind for what I wanted to create, what kind of mood I wanted to do or anything like that. I just wanted to blotch color down on the page and try and create some sort of this is a real place. I'm happy with how it turned out, but it's also not the most detailed thing ever, but that's okay. That's fine. It's only a little bit of leaking. Not bad. Not bad. If you've made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for sticking around. It really does mean a lot, and I hope to do more things like this in the future, along with studying frames from films and TV shows to see how they build a scene, and just general anatomy practice, and maybe character practice. We'll see. We'll see where the wind takes us. If you have any recommendations for websites that you use to gather resources or just to find inspiration, do let me know, and I'll keep tabs on it in the front of my sketchbook. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.